Editor's note, please be advised that paragraph 7 contains language which some readers may find offensive. By James Oliphant and Valerie Volkovici. Somerset, New Jersey, slash Washington, Reuters, NFL team staged a show of solidarity with protesting players before Sunday's games by kneeling, linking arms or staying off the field during the U.S. national anthem defying President Donald Trump's call for owners to fire those who refuse to stand. Along the sidelines of National Football League games across the country and in London, coaches, support staff and even some owners joined team members in a silent response to Trump's weekend denunciation of players who kneel during the anthem as unpatriotic. In a gesture initiated last season by then San Francisco 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick, Several NFL players have routinely taken one knee during the playing of the anthem. It is intended to call attention to what the protesting players see as a pattern of racism in the treatment of African Americans by U.S. police. In Detroit, several members of the Lions knelt while singer Rika Lavelle dropped to one knee and pumped a fist in the air at the end of his performance of the Star Spangled Banner. In Philadelphia, City police officers joined with Eagles in New York Giants players and Eagles team owner Jeffrey Lurie to link arms during the anthem in a sign of solidarity. While some Americans are sympathetic to the protesters, others see the refusal to stand as a sign of disrespect for the flag and for members of the military who have sacrificed or died in defending the country. Trump rekindled the controversy on Friday at an Alabama political rally in which he suggested any protesting player was a son of a bitch and urged owners to dismiss them on the spot, reprising his reality show catchphrase, You're fired. The theme could play well with Trump's conservative base at a time when the Republican president is grappling with North Korea's nuclear threats, an investigation of Russian meddling in the 2016 election and a healthcare struggle in Congress. But Trump's stance appeared to galvanize players, teams and the league to assert what they see as a right to express their political convictions freely. It also highlighted the deep political rift that Trump's election has exposed across many segments of American society. New England Patriots chairman and chief executive Robert Kraft, who has dined with Trump and whom the president considers a friend, criticized Trump on Sunday and defended players' right to protest. I am deeply disappointed by the tone of the comments made by the president on Friday, Kraft said in a statement. He said players had a right to peacefully affect social change and raise awareness in a manner they feel is most impactful. Despite a strong rebuke of his remarks by NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell and the Players Union on Saturday, the president did not back down on Sunday, calling on fans to boycott the league if it would not discipline protesting players. If NFL fans refuse to go to games until players stop disrespecting our flag and country, you will see change take place fast, Trump wrote on Twitter. Fire or suspend. In another tweet, Trump, who spent the weekend at his golf club in Bedminster, New Jersey, said that the league should back fans who are upset about the protests, protests, 